Hello everyone, I'm back and today we are building a Japanese onsen and spa. And I've actually never made a Japanese onsen before. Obviously it's a lot of type that came with the snowy escape pack, but I've just never got around to making one. Don't know why, but I thought the time is now, let's just, let's just have a go. And I thought what we could do is have the onsen with some of the kind of gameplay things from the spa pack just so that it has a few more like gameplay options I think it's always really good to have community lots which have like different things that your sims can come and do so the Zonson has obviously the natural baths and then it also has a yoga studio and a like meditation room and also the like massage table, the sauna, and the ma massage chairs, is that what they're called, I think? Anyway, basically all the sort of different things you can do at a spa, I thought kind of makes sense to have it that they could also do them here. Kind of makes it a bit like a retreat. I don't know, somewhere where you could just go relax. Because I do also put a cafe, or I use the bar from the spa pack, but it's just kind of, yeah, I think it's more, it's more, it's like a bar bar, I think, rather than like a cafe, but I don't know, it kind of gives me the vibes of what would be there. I don't know, I feel like you could get like smoothies, <laughs> like really healthy smoothies, really healthy drinks, you know, and yeah, so just somewhere where your sims can come, relax, and spend the day, and just, yeah. Now, the main thing when I started building this, what I really, really wanted to do was I wanted to have the natural baths like outside and at the top of a kind of, I don't want to say mountains, <laughs> it's not a mountain, but like a load of rocks and have it so it's like a waterfall coming down into a bigger pool, which is just like a pool that your sims can swim in. Um, cause there's the, the sort of like two different objects of the bath. So you've got the like natural rock looking one and then there's the kind of one that's like wooden, I think it is, which obviously I went for the ones with the rocks around because then I felt like, I don't know, it's just very natural looking and then we can just add to that by adding some more rocks obviously and then creating the waterfall. So yeah, that was basically the main thing that I wanted to build and then <laughs> everything else sort of came around it. But I did actually, so the main kind of structure that I'm working on now, I did see a reference image on Pinterest, which I think, I think they called it like a castle. Now, obviously mine's really not like a castle. I always find when I have a reference image if I ever use a reference image when I'm building on the sims it like the actual build itself is always only like a tiny bit like the reference image in the end because I sort of start with like how the reference image looks in some ways but then obviously naturally on the sims you know you can't do a lot of what you can do in real life in terms of building so like mainly like roofing and just generally some of the things just don't look right in the sims like they do in real life just because i mean they just don't <laughs> so yeah i always find that even if i use a reference image i always sort of is literally that it's just a kind of point of reference to start with and then i just kind of go with how like it takes me like on the sims and actually building it because like i say i find it's quite hard to actually replicate something exactly or you can but and it will look like the image but it won't necessarily look right if you know what I mean or like look realistic so yeah I always try to make things seem I don't know I always try to make them feel alive if you know what I mean and somewhere where especially the community lot somewhere where you feel like you want to go your sims want to go do you know what I mean rather than it just being kind of like I don't know just a bit 
plain. <laughs> so yeah, so I kind of just went with where it took me and what I felt like looked right on The Sims. So you'll see that a lot of things chop and change a lot on the actual main structure, mainly like the like the colours I use and what it's made of. So you can see at the moment the main sort of like three like tiered building is made of stone and I really like that because I did want this building to feel really really old like it's been here for many many years and these are like you know these natural baths that are like really famous and you know this this was built around them because obviously the baths were there first if you know what I mean because it's like supposedly in my mind like natural water that's just like found there you know it's just so yeah and so I wanted it to feel old and that had been here for a very long time, but obviously it's been done more recently inside. It's still got the older elements to it, but there's obviously like newer kind of refurbishment happened. <laughs> but yeah, so a kind of chop and change, mainly the building that is like sticking out to the right, which like is like right next to the baths themselves. That's the kind of building that changes the most. Mainly because I knew that it was going to be the space which led out to the baths where we'd have like the showers and I even put some like baths, you know, like the baths where you can have like the mud baths and things like that. So in the end, I sort of decided that actually I wanted to make it very wooden rather than the stone. I don't know why it just felt right to make it like that. And I also make it sort of more completely open and outside so obviously it's got the roof and it's got a lot of pillars and like what look like fences. I used the walls with the wallpaper that comes with the snow escape pack, which is kind of like, you can create these kind of, it makes them look more like maybe a fence. But yeah, in the end I do, because obviously you see at the moment, there's still some walls actually within the the building itself. And there's a, currently a door and everything that goes into it. But actually, I decide to have that fully open and just be, like, pillared with the sort of, like, wall fence I was talking about. Just because I felt like it would all be kind of outside. It's this sort of, like, half outside, half inside vibe. Where, like, you're kind of, like, already outside going into the baths where you shower and things. But it is also inside. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> this kind of weird mix but anyway so you'll see it's very different now from how it originally started and it's just like very it's a, just a big wooden structure basically but you'll see as well for a long time because as per usual I spend a long time on the outside of this build like and in this case like I feel like it's a really long time like honestly the insides of this the interiors go super fast <laughs> but anyway but you'll notice that the like where I've put the baths and obviously up on a hill and there's the big pool at the bottom kind of stays looking a little bit weird for a while because I want to just make sure this like the structure and the building itself is ready first so I know that for a long time it looks kind of weird that there's just this like big hill and <laughs> it's like bright blue water like it just yeah just doesn't yeah, just, just ignore it until I start making it look a bit more realistic. Because honestly, I had so much fun with this, creating this kind of, like, rocky hill that it's on. I don't want to call it a mountain, like I said, because I just feel like that's a little bit extreme. But I really wanted to create this, like I say, this waterfall. So I knew that it all kind of had to be up and, like, raised. And I wanted it to look as realistic as possible that it was on this kind of like rocky hill. Obviously around like this lot is very flat and I guess that's one of the things with lots on The Sims is that they are all very just like flat. Obviously around, like if you look into the distance, you can see different like, well, there's mountains and you can, there's like the water, the river. And we are up slightly from the river, so you can see more, like, dimension in the world around you. But obviously, I feel like whenever you try and 
make different heights on the sims like la- like terrain heights you are always gonna be a little bit like oops suddenly there's a hill here you know because I don't think there's like any lots really where you can you know like if there was a lot which had a hill right next to it you could almost build off of it if you know what I mean to make it seem more realistic like there was already a hill there but that's like I'm pretty sure that doesn't there isn't one it could be but majority are obviously just like they're all flat and everything around it is immediately around it is flat so if you want to make a hill you just kind of have to make it appear out of nowhere a little bit and I feel like one of the ways to kind of make it look more natural is to build it up on some rocks a bed of rocks and just try and like create a not very perfect shape because obviously it wouldn't be like a perfect just like round hill just kind of yeah just kind of work at it basically so yeah so it was very satisfying to do but yeah it kind of looks a little strange for a while (laughs) while I work on the actual build itself and I tried this thing a few times what I've just done is created like because I wanted to have I really like the doors that come with this pack which are like open and they match really well with the windows that come with the pack as well the only problem is with the that particular door is it's only very small height and like on a wall height but I use very tall wall heights in this build so you'll see a few times I kind of make my own doors or what look like doors by putting a trim at the top of the wall like making a hole in the wall and putting a trim across the top pillars down the side and then using the windows from this game from this pack sorry to go from the ground all the way up to the ceiling to look like that's the door itself but it's like open if you know what I mean so I do that a few times just because I don't know I think it's quite a fun idea and yeah it kind of annoys me that there's these really really nice doors in this pack but they're really short so you can only kind of fit it if you are using small wall heights but we're using quite tall wall heights in this so it wasn't really working so yeah and I also as well you'll see on this ground floor the ground floor I really wanted to be really old looking as in using like stone And you'll see that I use the stone windows and door and also decorative like wall pieces with the pillars as well on the corners from the Jungle Adventures pack, which obviously is based on a very different part of the world than Japan. But I think it works really well, to be honest, to create an older looking, like like almost like, so I'm thinking back to obviously the reference image was called a castle. Now this is not by any means a castle but I don't know why I just really wanted sort of stone features at the bottom and they worked really well it just made it it comes across more like that especially that ground floor has been here for a really really long time because it's made of stone that's been around for a really long time and then you kind of as you go up you get a bit more with like timber used as well I mean timber is used throughout obviously even on the ground floor inside but I don't know I just enjoyed using those the window and the door and things well it's like an archway really but I never I just I've never really used them in a build before if I'm honest I just felt like it worked you know but you'll see that I am slowly starting to bring this build to life a little bit and I think when you start landscaping it really helps with that because honestly some of these especially the I don't know what to call it but it's kind of like a draping leafy plant (laughs) which you can kind of use in lots of different places it comes with the snow escape pack I think honestly I use it so much in this build it just works so well you'll see that I created like a whole I don't know like drapey planty moment coming off the main entrance to the build and it kind of goes all the way past the little I don't want to call it like the wooden there's like a wooden entryway 
we walk through it and then there's like the main entrance into the building so it's sort of like drapes over all of that area and I just think it looks really nice works really well because it's shaped to drape you can just pile it around each other and like you know move some up and move like in position so it just looks like one big draping plant yeah really cool but we are also I will I'm not gonna lie again I will jump around a little bit because I find it's as I'm building especially as I'm doing the exterior of a build I have to sort of add something in one place and then also add something in another place just to see how it works and then I end up just going like from one place to another to another to another just to keep checking that like it looks right you know but I am now starting the waterfall and there's like a few ways I could have done this because obviously we do have some items in the debug menu which are actual waterfalls so from for example the island living pack and I think there's some in get together as well but and they're like pre-made waterfall shape so the kind of they sort of step down perfectly now that was like one way I was thinking of doing it and the benefit of that is you can see it in build mode now I could be wrong but so I've what I've done instead is I've used the fountains just little fountains that like squirt water out like one <laughs> like I don't know but you know what I mean in the fountain menu and basically I've just you'll see the first row I did and I put them in the basement of where the bath is the natural bath onsen bath is like right up against the edge of the rocks so you can't see them in the game but you'll see where the water comes out so basically it can be a little bit fiddly using the fountains like this because the the downside is obviously you can't see them in build mode now I could be wrong there could be a way of showing them in build mode I don't know how to do that if I'm honest if there is a way but n like normal view you can't see the fountain itself like the water coming out when you place it in build mode so you will have to you kind of have to go into live mode to check exactly where the water is gonna appear because the idea is you place them I guess you've just got to place them in a way that's gonna look as most natural as possible so it actually looks like the water is coming up over the rocks and then like going down the rocks and then you can put another layer of fountains to create the next step down so like you know it's like if you imagine the water's come out over the top of the top rock and then it's like fallen down and then it hits another rock lower down and then water drapes then down that one and so on until it hits the main pool of water itself at the bottom so yeah it can be a little bit fiddly and I realized literally when I was doing the waterfall I was like this I have not filmed this in a good way <laughs> to show you how I've done it because half the time I place them like in the rock so you can't even see where I'm placing them and to be honest in a way it's kind of a good thing to just do that because you don't want them to be in like a perfectly neat line because then it almost looks too perfect you want a few to be out of line almost and to look like water is coming out of different like areas where the rocks are or aren't because the rocks aren't perfectly in line either I think it helps to just make that look as realistic as you can because obviously nothing in your life is like perfectly especially when it comes to something like this a waterfall isn't going to be perfectly straight or whatever so yeah I don't know it works kind of well and, and like I say it's a real shame that you can't see it right now because well it's there <laughs> but you can't see it but I did include you'll see at the start of the video I did include a little video instead of a screenshot of the build which I thought was quite fun actually and I thought maybe it's something worth remembering that I can do because it just again it just brings the build to life even more and yeah I mean the main reason obviously I did it for this build is so you can see the water running like the waterfall because otherwise yeah you can't see it like I said in build mode which is a real shame 
but like I say if you if there's a way you can do it please let me know because I I it could be possible you know I could just be missing something <laughs> really simple <laughs> knowing me but yeah right now you can't see it but the video show, gives like well it shows you how it is and obviously all the screenshots at the end and all the screenshots that I've taken obviously I take them while the water is running so you can see it and see what it looks like because it really does like just bring this build to life because although the rocks I mean the rocks help massively right because you'll see now I'm working on covering up the hill so you can't see the horrible terrain paint color that it gives you when you make a steep hill honestly I don't know why it does that it's a real shame that you can't like paint the steep terrain if you know what I mean it has to be that like orangey tone but it's fine because we're covering it up with rocks anyway this time so you can't see it but but yeah so we're just kind of working on covering up the hill and creating well trying to make it as natural as possible and I do actually put rocks all the way around this build mainly because obviously the whole thing is raised slightly obviously the right hand side is raised more <laughs> because it's like a whole big rocky hill waterfall thing but the rest of the build sort of to the left is also obviously slightly raised so it just sort of helps I don't know just try and make it look as natural as possible that is naturally up on these rocks and then I think what really works then is putting the terrain the landscape sorry and especially those plants I was talking about earlier the drapey plants honestly because you can just put them anywhere chop and change them make them smaller make them bigger and it kind of doesn't matter as well with those plants if like half of it is like in a rock hidden away you can't tell honestly I think it really 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 worked with this build it just gave it this like green which just like against the rock I just think it works so well it just looks so natural and luscious and yeah, I just think it, look, it makes it look so much more real, you know? But yeah, I really, I don't know why I, <laughs> this ended up be a pretty big build, to be honest, in the end. I don't know why I told myself this week that I would do a smaller build. Because I had quite a busy week again. We have started painting our house, which is super exciting because that always feels like, we're nearing the end right it feels like if we're at the painting stage we are really getting somewhere and hopefully well the idea is soon I can go back home which will be really nice <laughs> don't get me wrong I've had such a nice time staying at my parents house but it'd be nice to go back to where we live and yeah just to have what we are used to around us you know and the people that we haven't seen for a while and just the places we can go yeah it'll just be it'll be nice to go back so yeah it feels like now we're painting that that is sooner you know <laughs> it just feels like we're getting there even though I'll be honest we haven't painted much but <laughs> it feels like that means we're making real real good progress to be able to go back home so that's super exciting but yeah it means had quite a busy week and so I said to myself we'll do a bit of a smaller build this week give myself time to do it but here we are <laughs> here we are I decided to make this yeah this lovely <laughs> landscaped <laughs> rocky hilly onsen which yeah is is quite a big build to be honest I mean, it's not, the actual build itself isn't that big, but it's all the landscape, and honestly, I'm, my husband was, like, telling me off, actually, to be honest, at how long I spent doing the outside of this build, and he said that I was being too much of a perfectionist, but I, I just, like, I mean, one, I just find it so therapeutic to do, and, I mean, I could add for it forever right like I feel like a build is never really finished but yeah I just it's just the more you add sometimes I mean you can add too much don't get me wrong but with this one I just felt oh my gosh like I could just yeah I could just be doing the exterior of this for a long time <laughs> and I do crop 
teeny bits out just because, like I said, honestly, I spent a real long time doing this. Because I do put, for example, some of the, like, drapey plants. They're, like, my new favourite plants. Can you tell? <laughs> um, On the actual build itself, like, coming off the roofs and things. But I don't include that because I do that right at the end. Once I kind of decided that I wanted to do that. I feel like with builds, putting plants on the walls and hanging off the roof and things like this really really can change how a build is so I tend to leave it sometimes unless I have a like a clear direction when I'm building the exterior sometimes I leave it till the end or once I've done all the landscaping or once I've done the interiors or however I do it but sometimes I leave it till later on until I know for sure how the build is or like if that's going to work for it because like I say I feel like it can really change the feel for a build and in the end I do decide that actually no this does need some plants going up the wall and plants draping off the roofs but I just thought by that point I was like people are going to be sick <laughs> of and tired of watching me put more plants down you know so I thought well we'll just we won't include that but they're there, and you'll see it in the screenshots and the little video at the start, so. So, yeah. But, yeah, he was telling me off for how long I spent doing it, and I said, well, it's got to be done, you know? We've got to make it look good, and make it look as, as good as we possibly can. <laughs> but, anyway. But, yeah, so, look, we are finally inside, everyone. And, yeah, so this this ground floor is I wanted it to be very old so we put the stone on the floor and that's probably genuinely the floors in or from the jungle adventures pack and probably my favorite floors in the whole game honestly that stone I mean I know I use it constantly but it's just it just is just like one of the most realistic stone floors in the game and even the tiles as well that come with the jungle adventures pack just like I don't know why they just they just work really, really well for many different builds and different styles. You know, it's just so versatile. But yeah, so as I was saying earlier, I really wanted to keep a lot of stone in this ground floor. So I wanted it to feel like they're very old and it's been here for a long time. But I do also use like the stairs and things are wood because it goes up to wooden. The sort of floors above are very much made of wood. So... In my mind, like a lot of the kind of added details I put in wood because I think that maybe, I mean, don't get me wrong, the wooden structure can still also be very, very old, but I just feel like maybe it's been done more recently than the, well, I guess the original build itself. So I really wanted this to be like a very relaxing space to come into and to keep the kind of natural bath like vibes so I do put like little water fountains inside because I think it'd be really nice to have the kind of sound of running water in here and then I do put a lot of I always forget what these are called honestly but you know they're like I call them trims but I don't even think that's what they are but you know the bits that go between the pillars basically <laughs> up on the ceiling I do that a lot as well here just to create I don't know I didn't want it to just be kind of a box I wanted there to be sort of some detailing in here and also a lot of plants on the wall just to bring like the outside in because it is an archway it just feel like it would feel very much like it is a bit outside in a way because it's like the outside in so yeah I wanted to kind of continue the the green foliage into the into the entr entrance way and the other thing actually that is on the ground floor is the cafe. So I make the cafe behind the steps you'll see. So yeah, I just felt like this ground floor is very much, yeah, just like the entrance where you could just come straight in and you could even probably just come in for like a drink, something to eat without even going upstairs, you know, like if you don't actually want to go to the well any of the sort of spa elements or onsen elements 
if you literally just wanted to come in for a relaxing drink I feel like you could do that as well so yeah I'd kept everything on the ground floor here and also there's also the toilets at the back on the ground floor as well but I do actually I have actually cropped that out from the video which probably won't come as a surprise because I do often cow the toilets and in this case I mean if unless the toilets are really super interesting then I'll keep them in but in this case they're very standard and it just feels so repetitive sometimes, I think, showing the bathrooms, because especially in a community lot, obviously there's going to be multiple. In a house, it's a bit, a little bit different, but in a community lot, I always think, yeah, it's just like lots of toilets, so over and over again. It's a bit much, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so there, the toilets are in the sort of building, The well, the room that you'll see that is empty, coming off the room we're working on here. So you'll see me put the door down so you can see where they are. But then I'll just, we just, I won't show you that, you know. And you'll see as well that I just did the sort of door thing that I was telling you about earlier as well. So you'll see that I've made a hole in the wall and put the windows that come with this pack from the ceiling all the way to the, from, yeah, to the floor on either side. And that's supposed to just, it's supposed to be, the door basically right there and they slide if you imagine they slide in and out so that that's what that is I know it's like they're almost like a little bit too narrow <laughs> like they obviously fold quite a long way that you can't see but yeah I just thought that kind of worked because we're using the like highest wall type and so you just can't it just I don't know many things look a little bit silly in this tall wall height to be honest with you especially like if you use like a small size door like I used the little bathroom door and yeah it does look a little bit silly I can't lie and when you put paintings on the wall it can always feel a bit strange but anyway I wanted to use the tall height because I always associate taller walls with older buildings so the older a building is in my mind the taller the wall is which isn't the case at all because obviously some very old buildings actually have really small wall heights because they're like you know really small and cottagey or whatever but yeah I don't know in this case I felt like this was originally a very big stone building which has been obviously changed a bit throughout the years so yeah I just wanted it to be yeah the tall wall height so that's that's what we're working with really but yeah so you'll see this is a very relaxed vibe and I'm using those sofas and armchairs that honestly aren't they just stunning I, I use them so much like I'm fully aware of that but they're just too nice not to but yeah I think it just creates a very nice atmosphere somewhere you could come chill and like I say you could just come here for for this right if you didn't want to go to have like a massage or whatever so yeah, yeah I feel like you could just come here and sit here especially I think the seats outside is really nice as well because it's kind of they can look out over the river that's in the distance but it also feels quite private because they're sort of slightly covered by the the rocks because obviously the rocks that I put round that little hill or like terrained area just go a bit slightly higher so I don't know it creates this nice natural fence if you know what I mean rather than having a fence or anything that would be really abrupt it creates a natural I don't know, just division into from the seating area onto just not the seating area. <laughs> I don't know, it works well. Well, I hope anyway. But yeah, I really enjoyed as well this using the, like making this cafe under the stairs. I was a little bit unsure actually if the Sims would be able to get into it because I mean like obviously we're using the tall wall height so the stairs are really, really big <laughs> go really high so you can fit a lot under the stairs in this case but I still was a bit I don't know I never know of the sims I feel like they've got fussier recently uh, I don't know if that's possible but I just feel like they can be very there's things that they definitely used to be able to do that now they can't but anyway but yeah so but that is fully functional and I think it's like a really cool use of space because <laughs> otherwise it would just be yeah I don't know a little bit strange and then I also create a seating area upstairs out on this front balcony as well, which is raised because 
Again, because we're using such a high wall upstairs as well, it means that I just felt like they wouldn't be able to. <laughs> I put the seats down originally by the fence and like they wouldn't be able to see out over the top and it just felt a little bit strange. So I thought if we put it up on a platform, then your Sims can sit out. The idea is they can sit out and they can look out over the roof and watch the world go by. But this is the start. Up the stairs is the start of the onsen and spa facilities, as it were. So first you'd come to changing room. And there is also some more like changing lockers and things up in the yoga studio, just because I feel like you might not necessarily need to go to a full changing room for that. In my mind, the changing room is mainly for obviously the onsen baths themselves and perhaps the sauna, things like that. So I like the kind of flow of this, of obviously you come up the stairs immediately and there's the changing room because that's naturally where you need to go first. Or if you don't and you want to go up to yoga, you can just go up the stairs. And also the there is a meditation room up the top of the stairs as well, which again, you wouldn't necessarily need the changing room. So I don't know, I think it flows quite well that you would come to the changing room and from the changing room you go out to the where the showers are and obviously there's lots of sinks and things and you can then go straight out to the baths or you can go out into this sort of sauna massage room I'm gonna call it <laughs> but yeah I think it works really well the flow and these packs really work well together I think they kind of go hand in hand I mean obviously I've never been to a nonsense and I always get a little bit like nervous because you know I always feel like oh have I built it like how it should be or have I done something really silly like that just would not <laughs> would just not be like that at all but anyway in my mind especially for gameplay I mean I'm primarily thinking of gameplay when I say this but I feel like it works having the spa like having like the sauna and things like that within the same lot I think it's just means you can just do more, you know, your sims can do more. So it's just, just quite fun. And then you'll see this, I don't know what to call this, this sort of outside inside room, I want to call it, kind of vibe, is like I say where we have the showers. And yeah, I, I realised as well when I started doing it that I was going to have the showers face inward like this and have these like half walls, like, so the showers are facing inwards and the half, wall, half walls sort of protect their privacy, right? Because, of course, this building is mainly no walls. So if there was just showers facing the other way, if that makes sense, then people would just be showering and you'd be able to see them from down the bottom, like where the main entrance is and things like that. So I thought, face it inwards, it means that you don't get that nice kind of... Obviously, I've made it all outside and open but it does kind of block a bit of that from the outside, if you know what I mean, because obviously there's this like higher half wall just going along inside, but I don't know. I felt like it was important to have the showers face like this <laughs> for the simps, you know, and it made more sense in my mind. So yeah, so it changes it a little bit from like, like I say, if you're like looking at the build from down the bottom of the steps, because there is also actually steps up to this building or this room directly from outside so I don't know if say I don't know for whatever reason you might just come straight up here rather than go through the main entrance and things okay I guess maybe it's a quick exit if you wanted to just exit or if you knew you were coming straight here you could just go straight through to here I don't know it's just like another way of getting up here but yeah I kind of put some bamboo bits as well here to just kind of hide the because obviously people will be in the baths as well. But yeah, I don't know, I just, just felt like it needed a little bit of coverage in here to not be completely open, you know? But yeah, it works really well, and at night as well, you see, like, it looks really, really cool. I feel like this would be a super nice place to come in the evening, especially, like, to for your sims to come out here in the baths. Now, these are obviously fully functional, Again, it was another thing that I was like, hmm, 
are the sims gonna appreciate being right next to a load of rocks but they do they're happy to go in there and we'll see the pool down at the bottom as well fully functional so yeah it's really cool when the sims are in there it does look like they are sat at a natural baths that has a waterfall come off it really cool really cool vibes and then the top here on the top floor is the yoga studio. And you'll see again, I've done another one of these doors. <laughs> I don't know, it just, I think as well, it helps to create a nice open space. I struggled a bit with the window placement on this building. You may have noticed that I didn't actually put any windows on the middle floor until literally just now. Because I just really didn't know where to put them until I kind of knew what was in the space on the inside. Which can happen a lot when I build because... Sometimes there's builds where you feel like you prioritise where the windows are from the outside, how it looks on the outside, and just kind of deal with wherever that is on the inside and just hope for the best <laughs> and work with it. But sometimes the windows have got to be in a certain place on the inside, and then we just kind of work with how that looks on the outside. So in this case, it was that way around, and I just kind of knew I needed to put windows in once I was inside, and then just, yeah, they just had to work wherever they were on the outside. <laughs> but yeah, so this space up here is kind of, in a way, its own place. Because like I say, it's got, it, well, it will have its lockers. But it's got even like food options. I feel like people might just come straight up here for the yoga. And just change up here. Grab something to drink and then go or whatever. <laughs> but you'll see as well, I put down the... um yoga teacher like mat item and I swear I used to have um like the mats already placed out for the sims to use but I don't know now it doesn't so I didn't put them down because in my head I was like oh well the sims well they put their own mats down right but actually they end up putting them in weird places, so I do put them down for you, so that, like, the Sims yoga in the right place. But anyway, we have come to the end of the video. I will leave you with some screenshots, and see you in the next one.